I want to start off by thanking uh, the search committee and the excellent work they've provided. If you haven't served on a, a search committee for the state, you don't realize how much work that goes into running a search and uh, making sure you document uh, all the items that are necessary uh, to complete the search. I do want to thank the president, President Hensrud, for her support throughout the search process. Also, I'd be remiss if I didn't thank the wonderful people in HR, our human resource office who put up a lot of extra work for, for, for doing this uh, part of the search and the great work that they do as well. So thank you to them. I do want to thank uh, our assistant football coaches for their uh, commitment for the past year and the great work they have done and provided to our program. I think as you go through this whole process, you, you kind of look to see what a head coach evolves. And it, it involves many, many talents, including the ability to lead and inspire others. Um, in addition, developing a, a vision for a program and a plan to move the program forward. Brent Bolte has these strengths along with an unbelievable passion for coaching. Along with being an outstanding recruiter, Brent is connected to a strong alumni base who care deeply about the BSU football program. And I, at this time, I, I want to take time to make sure that we welcome the new head football coach, Brent Bolte. I certainly want to give some thanks out to people that have allowed me to get to this, this point. Uh, First off, just want to thank BSU and the administration. I think it's obviously been an interesting year and in, in moving forward. It's, it, uh, it takes a lot of tireless work on their side as well. I heard this statement from a couple other coaches in the, in the league and in the region is, you're only going to go as far as your administration. And with football and athletics, uh, it means a lot to have people behind you that uh, are willing to put in the extra work and time as well. Uh, before we go continually moving forward, uh, I think it's important to move, and especially for me to look behind a little bit, and give some special thanks out. Certainly, we've got the coaches that are in here now, uh, but I do want to just go back with Jeff Tash and thank him for the opportunity to be here. Uh, I think it was 17 years ago, I think. So, uh, had an opportunity to come up and, and be a part of a great staff. Aaron Valleco, Coach Yonner was still here. It was a lot of uh, blasts uh, of names from the past, but just one wonderful opportunity to be a part of a very special program that didn't have a lot of history, didn't have a lot of tradition. And since I've been able to be a part of this program, it's something that means a lot to me. And, and that's why it's so, uh, I guess, I'm so excited and thrilled to be, have the opportunity to be the head of coach here because of those ties, because of the camaraderie, and because of, of where they have came from. It hasn't always been easy for Bemidji State. But I tell you what, the blue collar, hard work mentality uh, is what I embody. And I think that's something that we're going to continue to do here at BSU. Uh, also, Tracy alluded to it, it's our alumni base. I've had the opportunity over 15 years to work with a lot of guys from different generations. Uh, and, and it means the world to them as well. And it's something that's special to me to see continually you get the calls, you get the notes about the, the team, the helmets, you name it. Uh, and they're just excited to see where this, this thing can go to. And in my opinion, it's just the start. And I think we can do even bigger and better things as we move forward. Uh, and as Tracy alluded to, I want to thank the staff. A lot of them are in here, but certainly Coach Bagnell, Coach Aurich, maybe he zipped out of here. He's ready to have a kid. I should say his wife's about ready to have their, 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 their daughter, I guess. I let it out of the bag if you haven't heard. But Coach Yonner's been here for a lot of years as well. Uh, particularly want to thank him and all the younger assistant, Coach Olson, who just got on board with us, Coach Niskoyak, who was a player for us, Coach uh, Erickson, Coach Phipps. Um, I feel like I'm leaving somebody out, but uh, Coach Phipps, yeah, I shouldn't. Oh, Coach Benham, yeah, he, he's newbie, so I guess I could forget about him. But, but I want to thank all those guys. And the last thing I want to kind of mention is for us is what we're doing to move forward. Uh, I don't think our blueprint's broken. I think we're going to continue to do a lot of similar things in terms of way we recruit, the way that we bring people in, and the way we treat people. Uh, it's a blue collar mentality. I'm from Northeast Iowa. I'm about as blue collar as you can get. And I think treating people fair, having accountability in your life is something that we might miss a little bit uh, in our society. So something that this program is going to stand for. You'll see our ax grinder mantra all over the place and something that, uh, that we take to heart. So we're going to continue to do that. But I, I don't want to be here and say that, hey, we've done a lot of great things in the past, and that's you know, where the bar is at. I think the expectation is to raise the bar. Uh, and that goes back to why I think it's important to have the administration on board and have great players, great, great coaches, and uh, everybody else behind you. So that's where we're at moving forward. And at this point, I guess I'll turn over or open it up for questions. There's been a lot of changes, obviously. And I'll start with our staff, 
was able to promote Rob Ulrich during the offseason, the defensive coordinator, um, added Ryan Olson to the staff as our, our offensive line coach. Um, really, Coach Bagnell was doing double duty last season. Uh, we were a guy short, so commend Craig. He did a great job with the offense last year. But other than that, uh, I think we're just, you're going to see us be more aggressive with the recruiting process. I think you'll be, see us be more aggressive with, with everything. I, I'm not sitting here wanting to be status quo. It's, you got to be aggressive, and that's going to be in the recruiting process on the field, you know, expectations of the kids in the classroom. Uh, just be proactive and, and move forward. It's nice. I think everybody kind of wants to know that if you're going to have the same people around year in and year out. We've been fortunate for a lot of years to have a very similar staff, a lot of, a lot of same faces. So that's important. But yeah, it, you have to have in this league, it's an arms race right now, and everybody's battling and having their plans to get to 36. And we're trying to figure out the same thing. So as we move forward, hopefully we're able to, you know, make adjustments and be able to, to, to get more money to get quality kids up here to Minnesota. And, Still, again, we want to get kids that have great academics and fit what we're about at BSU because and not every kid is a northern Minnesota uh, guy. So we got to make sure we, they understand that and, and fit our mold of what we're trying to get accomplished. I don't think there's going to be a lot of drastic differences from what we've done in the past to now. Um, if anything, like I said before, I, I think with just having a younger staff, I think we'll do some things differently. And we did in the spring. If you're able to come to any of the spring practices, it was a little bit more energetic and fly around. and. I think that's just part of it. Good energy with the young group of coaching staff is, is important. And I think uh, maybe Coach Yonner and I can maybe express being the, the older guy now that I hit the big 4-0 last week at, uh, you know, having the younger coaches around, I think is good for the energy level. And uh, I think I draw off them just as much as anything else. So it's, I think that's basically some of the, the differences that you'd see. You know, I had a lot of blind confidence last year. You know, you just fly through it and things just kind of scattered in front of you and you just hit the accelerator and went. A little bit more nervous this go around. You got a lot more time in the offseason to think about it. But we got a great group of kids, and I think sometimes as coaches, we take too much of the credit for what the, what the guys do. So we have a great team. We got good leadership. We got great players. They do a lot of good things in the community. Uh, we're going to ride those guys uh, as much as we can. And, and obviously, you got to get fortunate at times to stay healthy at key positions, all that in the game of football. But it, uh, it takes an army to have a football team, and not just the players, but the coaches and everybody behind it. So. We'll see how things lay out, but yeah, uh, I'm excited to get going. It's just like anything else. You want to move forward and, and do some things your own way. But for a lot of years, I think we just had the general idea, and it's going to be the same that uh, the 10 coaches on staff all have good input, and we're going to use that input to, to move forward and hopefully win a championship. That's what we're here to do. That's an excellent question, Brian. Um, I think uh, Brent has a passion, but he also has a vision. I, I like people that challenge you. And, uh, and I think that's important to be as a coach, that uh, um, they, they push the needle just a little bit to, because they want to be the best. And, uh, and, yet, and I, it, when I look at our coaching staff now all across the board, uh, I don't see anybody that doesn't want that. And, uh, and quite frankly, I think that's a real key to being, to being good, is you gotta have that drive to wanna be good and you got to demonstrate that to your players. And uh, the commitment never, if you look at all the programs in the Northern Sun, um, it doesn't matter what sport it is, it all comes down to work and work ethic and developing that pride within your team. And I, I feel that we have that within our programs. And, and we, as Brent mentioned earlier, we have some great kids. And uh, we're really excited for the uh, start of fall.